Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about Hawkeye, the Hawkeye dilemma, the Hawkeye problem, the Hawkeye backlash, non-controversy, all of that nonsense. Everything that revolves around Hawkeye. So, as you guys know, the Hawkeye show came out featuring um, Clint Barton Hawkeye and Kate Bishop Hawkeye. And from different people, I'm hearing that it's okay. It's okay. And Kate Bishop is more likable in the show than she is in the comic books. So that's saying something. If you, if you, you know, if wherever you want to do with that one, that's, that's on you. Cause I don't really know much about it. The show, because I haven't watched it. But the reason why I want to bring bring this up because not only is the Hawkeye show going on, you got I heard behind the scenes drama of Jeremy Reynolds not being pleased with um, Marvel and I mean Marvel and Disney for I guess him not being able to spend enough time with his daughter for the scheduling or whatever. I guess they purposely schedule things around him or the fact that like they took took um his ex-wife's side of the story and kind of threw him under the bus about being an abuser it, it was one of the it was like two of the articles i had read about um i don't really know much so i couldn't really couldn't really tell you guys um at all to be honest i i because I, I really don't know i really wish i could say i do know but i don't know um the whole situation re um revolve around that one but I think he's just tired, probably. And I mean, it's not like it's not like Marvel's treated his character with any kind of respect, anyway. Like <laughs> he's getting a show after all of the characters are already done, and the height of their their popularity and characters are like kind of done. But the reason why I'm saying that is because there have been articles talking about how um, Disney's Hawkeye bombed like 44 percent of the audience left after episode one so i don't know i don't know what what happened in episode one to make people want to leave but it did you know what i'm saying so we'll see again i have no interest in watching hawkeye i already told you guys that and i'm not going to really talk bad about the show because i don't know for sure all i'm saying is these are the reports that are this is what they're saying they're saying that hey hawkeye kind of sucks <laughs> i mean that's what that's what i'm from what i'm seeing if it if it dropped off 44 percent in its audience that's like damn what the hell happened like is the show that bad you guys <laughs> but i also talked to other people and they said it was boring to them they said they felt bored watching um hawkeye so but they said it was slow they said it was slow and it didn't really get anywhere um so i don't I, again i don't know i haven't watched the show i'm only going by what people are telling me and what i'm seeing in reports i'm not going to bash hawkeye at all about whether the show should have happened or not but i do also know that um the mcu fans turned against um are turning against it as well they're talking about um boycotting hawkeye as well um from what i saw on twitter they um they were talking about oh we're you guys didn't thank the writer matt fraction or david aja for the work that you guys did or pay them for using their their work for hawkeye so we're not going to watch the show i'm sorry mcu fans pick a struggle pick a pick a damn struggle because this is what i'm going to get into right quick pick a damn struggle now y'all want to be for oh the artist isn't getting any um the artist and the writer aren't getting any any support and stuff like that and that's not right that means we shouldn't watch it really the, the, the same the same fans who remember when i had when when we talked about eternals marvel's diversity mm -hmm. inclusion team that nobody asked for that was not 
supposed to be given at all. You know, you, now you want to talk about respecting the artist. Y'all didn't, res y'all went and saw a movie that literally disrespected Jack Kirby. Completely changed everything about his characters. The characters don't look nothing like any of his works of art at all. But then, now you want to be like, oh, you guys didn't, they didn't think, damn, they, they barely said anything about Jack Kirby for the Eternals neither. But y'all still went to go watch that trashy ass movie. So shut the hell up. What the fuck you doing? So, you know, come off with all that nonsense to be honest. Like, I'm not trying to hear, hear oh, we're, we're not going to watch Hawkeye because you guys didn't think Matt Fraction and David Aja. Are you kidding me? That's the that's the hill you want to die on? How many shows and, and movies that's been based off of these comic books and these artists haven't got thanked at all? And now you want now you want to draw a line in the sand for Hawkeye? Hawkeye, out of all the people, Hawkeye is the struggle y'all want to do. No, that ain't it. They had already said they think um from what it, from what it looks like, Matt Fraction. And David Aja got money. I don't know if he got as much money, but I know Matt Fraction is got a consulting producer credit, I believe. So it's not like they didn't get paid or anything, but the fact that y'all want to make this crazy claim, I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm kind of confused on why you don't do it for the other movies when they don't think the, think the artists or the writers, but now you want to do it for Hawkeye? Okay, I mean, I guess so. I mean, it's weird. It's, it's, it's weird. But my thing is, I'm kind of confused. Like, okay, what's happening? Because they're saying that this is the lowest, the lowest scored um, MCU um, Disney Plus show. So I, I'm really lost on <laughs> what's going on. Maybe it's because people are probably tired of the the characters the characters that they love getting replaced by female diverse um characters maybe i don't know i don't know i i mean hawkeye hawkeye kate bishop has never really really been a great character much i mean she was cool she was cool um when she first came on scene and then uh, when they did when they did a relaunch of Young Avengers after Children Crusade, I believe. And they did a relaunch. And then she became so unbearable. And they think they want to be like, oh, she's the best archer ever. And then they want to be like, oh, Clint's a screw up while she's all of this and stuff like that. I mean, she's a socialite. She's a socialite. Like, oh, wow, look, it's a socialite person who decided that she was fed up with her parents and the bull crap and decided, hey, I'm going to become an archer because I like Hawkeye and Hawkeye was really cool too. So, yeah, I should be one too. Like, <laughs> again, okay, I guess so, but that doesn't really mean much of nothing, especially when the character really hasn't went through anything. She hasn't went through anything to solidify that. I mean, the real reason why she joined the Young Avengers is because she did have some training prior. Like, I mean, of course, you know, when you're raised in luxury, of course, they're going to want you to train yourself because, you know, you never know daddy's enemies could be anywhere. You need to learn how to defend yourself. So it makes sense why she can fight or whatever and stuff like that. But I mean, that ain't really much of nothing. I, I feel like she's more of a good supporting character. More so than trying to make her a character all of her own. She was annoying in Marvel's Avengers. She's annoying in the comic books. And I don't know about the TV show. So I couldn't tell you. But she doesn't really work, work really. So I don't know. And then people are saying that Hawkeye Clint Barton is a sidekick in his own damn show. I mean, a side character in his own damn show. I mean, the show is called Hawk Hawkeye. But, you know, you could have just... If it, if it was going to be about Kate Bishop from what some people are saying... You should have just named it Kate Bishop Hawkeye. Or Kate Bishop and Hawkeye. I, I mean, I'm just being I'm just being honest, you know. I'm just being I'm just being honest. You know, hey, it is what it is. But y'all need to figure out something. Because 
what's happening right now is people are are probably fed up. I I don't know how much longer people are going to be fascinated with or dealing with or trying to accept the fact that Marvel keeps replacing all of their classical characters for diverse female characters. I I really don't. I, I, I don't know what's happening, to be honest, but people ain't really ain't really talking about it to be honest um i haven't really heard that much people talk about hawkeye so i couldn't really tell you that it's good or bad all i know is people that i was telling they was like hey, it's, it's okay but it's kind of boring most of the time well well damn if it's boring or if it's slow what what the hell is happening here you know what i'm saying y'all need to figure out something because the show ain't really gaining that much um ain't much of talk because I really haven't heard much of anything from people watching it. They were like, eh, you ain't you ain't really missing much. I, I mean, of course. Because I mean, I literally got everything I needed to know from the trailer. Like I put the story together. It is really not that damn hard to put the story together of what's really going on or what's really happening but yeah Hawkeye have you guys seen it are you guys interested in it um do you want to see more Clint Barton or do you want him to be replaced with Kate Bishop or how about we go and go even further would you continue to support Hawkeye if they recast Jeremy Renner because of his age or because he doesn't want to do it anymore. Like, it'll still be Clint Barton, but it'll just be another actor, a younger actor that they can, you know, can have for a longer time. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, you make it make sense, guys. I'm just, just trying to figure it out. And I, that's why I'm saying what I'm saying right now. So, you know, you tell me. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.